this is the Order of Transylvania, presented to me personally some years ago by Count Dracula. He had a small assignment for me, but unfortunately I wasn't quite able to get my teeth into it. However, since we are going to Transylvania, I've taken certain precautions. This garlic acts as a barrier against vampires. This stake has to be driven through a vampire's heart to keep him in his place. A vampire is generally buried at a crossroads, so in case he returns, he won't know which road to follow. That gives you one chance out of four. In Tolstoy's story, one of the vampires is a woman, although she's certainly not a lady. May I have the pleasure of seeing you again? I promise devotion the rest of my life if you'll say yes. Perhaps I should hide my feelings for you. But from the first moment I laid eyes on you, I knew you were special. Miss Dashka. No, you mustn't say anything. Such a lovely couple. If you don't mind my speaking, sir, I have a small but pertinent observation. I'm afraid you're burning up. Who is that? I remember you as a boy whose pants kept falling down. Couldn't figure out how to keep them up. Grandmother. It's the truth. Your grandfather and my dear late husband were just like brothers. Dashka, you're so rude. They were inseparable companions. It pleases me to have you renew our family friendship again. I thank you, madam. Excuse me, sir. You propose today? Getting married next week? My goodness. <laughs> my dear lady, when a man is in love... All right, all right. Have it your own way. Tomorrow, we'll announce the engagement and send for my solicitor. I want to make some changes in my will. I'm leaving everything to you. Grandmother, stop talking about death. You must not be in such haste, my dear friend, because the other world is boring and you'll miss this one. You're fortunate, young man, my friend, very fortunate. In my day, a young man would have to court a woman a couple of years. And if they wanted to be alone for a minute or two, the schemes they had to come up with, it was incredible, you know, although love found a way. Day, a young woman stayed safely in the country. <laughs> Didn't spend every night traipsing through town. They used to read fortunes to see whether they'd have a good marriage. Women in those days were rather modest. Yes, I'd like to read a fortune. Can you read cards, my dear? I'm afraid not, Dashka, darling. Let's read our fortunes out of a book, all right? Is it poetry? Yes. Gina. That's all I wanted to say. Stefan! Get me my horse and carriage. 
But how dare you hurt poor grandmother? It's not enough that she was stabbed by a maniac. Now you come and open up the wound again. You'd better apologize. Dastra. Stefan, what did she mean by that? Who wounded her grandmother? Don't you know? No, of course I don't. The madman, sir. He had a butcher's knife. But who? Ribarenko. He stabbed the coach driver as well. We were rather upset about it. She'll never forgive me. Stefan, please ask Miss Dashka if I may speak to her and say I beg for her forgiveness. Ribarenko. Ripper. Stefan! Of course, we all know there's no such thing as a vampire. Is there? <laughs> 